Why, hello there, greetings, and welcome back to a small let's play of a game called Yakin Kenji 2, Prosecute this path. I'm Divine Path, or Sparkle One Princess, if you prefer, and it's very nice to meet all of you. So, um, it seems that Edward's been taking off the case, again. So, let's just see what we'll do with that. Mr. Edward, see what happened yesterday. There's two people. Your attitude was just unforgivable. Mr. Edwards, I'm here to clean up the mess you made. The Prosecutorial Investigation Committee has decreed that you will be taken off this case. And Sebastian has been appointed to take over the case. That is all. Judge Courtney and Mr. DeBest. They were certainly ruthless, but what I'm more concerned about is... Just what is the, the PIC thinking? I'm worried about what they will do from here on. I have a bad feeling about this. You should. I definitely feel you should. <laughs> <clears throat> hey, Mr. Edworth! Hey, Mr. Edworth! Are you listening to me? Yes, I'm listening. You're not going to give up on this case, are you? No, I don't plan on backing down. Not with that current situation as it is. If I were to silently stand by, that would only validate their claims. But I no longer have investigation rights. What should I do now? What's... Oh! I wonder who it is. I really do. There's some I don't know. Oh, okay. What is it, Detective Gumshoe? Bad news, sir! I heard something down at the present. It sounds like they've already arrested a suspect in yesterday's case. What? Who is it? I don't know yet, sir. But if we go down to the detention center, we can ask. I have, um... I have a feeling about that as well. Let's get going, Mr. Edgeworth. Even if I can't investigate, meeting with a suspect should not be an issue. Alright, we're heading over to the detention center now. I'll also head over to it on the double, sir. Detective, won't that interfere with your job? I gotta investigate the scene of the crime anyway, so it should be okay, sir. Alright, we'll meet up with you there. Roger, sir. None of that, thanks. Let's go, okay. Okay! Okay, okay. How <laughs> fair are the days? They're not here. He's not- He's not coming, is he? He's not. It's happening all over again! Don't choke about that. No way, I mean it. It's not happening. Who's this? Yes, it's happening, alright? There's just someone here to talk to you. Could it be... Elbert, maybe? I wonder. Hmm? That sounds like a pretty screechy voice, huh? No. Oh, okay. No way, no way, no way. Don't be so stubborn. I don't care about this one. Aren't prosecutors like crazy scary or something? <sighs> Always giving you a death glare. Um, pardon me, but would you happen to be the suspect? Oops. Uh, ah, I knew it. Well, who the heck is this person? Okay, what does this minus this man seem to this brought? Well, because you're a, a... you! That doesn't help me at all. Hello, Mr. Suspect! Would you mind talking for it to us for a little bit? That's, um, very tactical of you. But who are you? I'm Mr. Edward's assistant, Kay Faraday. Well, this is a part-time job. I'm just taking vacation for my real job. Which you really should not be blabbering on about to just about everyone. I don't remember hiring you. This is Mr. Edworth. He's a prosecutor, but he's not as scary as he looks, so it's okay. <laughs> How rude. Oh, really? Really, really? Uh, really. <laughs> anyway, can you tell us your name, Mr. Suspect? Anyway, can you tell us your name, Mr. Suspect? 
Sorry about that. We get that dragon ball. I wonder why. We have. I, I would assume that's kind of kind of as strange people track. I wonder what this character was like. Yeah. Um. Uh, I am Simon Keats. <laughs> nice to meet you, Simon. I can just call me Kay, okay? I am Miles Edward, the prosecutor. I would appreciate a word with you. Please, that's for your own good, Simon. Really? Fine. It looks like we'll be able to get something out of it. Thanks, Kay. I just wanted to say, like, this character is very, has a very interesting design, and my hair do look great. Oh, yes. I like you to tell me the intro about yourself. You know what? It's not that. I couldn't do that. It's impossible. I'm not worthy. There's nothing interesting about me. Your occupation? No way, you know that. It's no big deal, honest. I'm just a regular employee. He is a bit troublesome now. I'm both a victim of life. That is an interesting thing. I don't think he's going to talk to me about this. Okay. Simon, did you notice the night we from somewhere? I have friends. A friend? So did you know that Nightly was arrested? Do you know that uh, Miss Nightly was arrested? Yeah. I can't be asked me that. So you're not going to get into the What was that? When did it visit me? Yeah. It was two days ago. In the afternoon. I was in a place. So I came over right away. Why did you get a call from the police? You want to request from my You have a message for me. A message? Yeah. I wanted to bring in his pocket sized chessboard. So uh, I retreated him from his house and came here to give it to him. Um, I've got some bad news for you, Simon. This. Does not look good for you at all right now. Did you say chessboard? Do you say chessboard? You're totally on the same wavelength there, you two. <clears throat> Is Kay stealing my thoughts? No, Mr. Edward. I still written on your face. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I was just guessing on your facial expressions. See? I can be useful, a uh, useful assistant, right? So, do you know what we need to do next? That was fine. Oh. You bet! We gotta show that to Sammy, right? Correct. Let's present it in the audience. So, um... I would assume it's just a question. Just a question. Do you recognize this chessboard? Ah, that's nightly to say. Just as I thought. Hmm. <clears throat> Just for a start out, let's say it. Yep, now we know for sure that it belongs to him. At least according to Simon. This was found near Mr. Nightly's corpse. He always carried a chessboard with him. Well, it didn't now, obviously. It's just like him to have one until his last breath. It sounds like you two were really close, Simon. Although, um, I'm not sure how well you knew him. If the person was so consumed by, by jealousy and, and this enemy that he's perfectly willing to kill someone just to prove his own worth. Hello. Oh, yeah, we're best friends. At least I thought we were. But maybe I was wrong. Huh? <clears throat> because I never imagined 
murder someone. I think someone close to you turned out to be a murderer. Reality can be so cruel. It's not something most people can easily accept. And I can never imagine what it always like this. <laughs> Mr. Edward, something is definitely strange here. There's no way someone could have killed Mr. Knightley. Indeed, I certainly can't see a motive at all. The fact remains that she was the one who was arrested on that charge. Just what was the justification for doing so? Um, I don't really know why you can't see that, because I can see one very important reason why he might, he might have been arrested, and that was the chessboard. He must have brought it there, and the question is, is of course, we still haven't found the answer to the question, how did Knightley, who was still a just treated as a suspect and was kept in the in the detention centers um, area, detention center area of cells, suddenly found his way his way through the locked door and into the prison. That is the question. It's probably not going to be more terribly cooperative yet. As it sounds though, like, I'm very curious about this guy, he seems suspicious. But all the same, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't necessarily think he is the victim. The victim. The culprit. Rather. So, why were you arrested? Hmm, and you still won't respond to me. You're going to have to do some dogs you might have chance my body. But, well, I don't know. Looks like he's finally warming up to you. No. That's a good tell. This morning, a police officer rushed into my house. And before he, he had broken the air. We've been prosecuted by the party event that day. Uh, I remember prosecuting me to tell um, best or something. That's actually very interesting. Because apparently in Dutch, Dutch, um, Sebastian's so they surname would be pronounced the best. It's probably meant to be something like the best. So, just, just to emphasize that I am not the best, I am the best. The absolute best that there can be. Oh, okay. So, I will keep prosecuting. Go then. Then. I guess the police haven't dragged you into questioning yet, huh? Are, are, are the police going to interrogate me? Yup, that's... Yup, that's right. Because you're a suspect. No way, no way, no way, no way. Hard to tell you like crazy abusive or something. Always bossing around with a big body. Detective Gumshoe is on the scene. Well, he's certainly a big one. Oh, I knew that. Please don't beat me with your thick arms. I can't take any more. Someone call the police. <laughs> Sarah. Oh. Don't worry, it's just a big teddy bear. Teddy bear. What's going into him, sir? Well, it's because you're you, detective. Now, who's the one stealing lines? Huh? I, I don't get it, sir. I know Simon has to be innocent, Mr. Edworth. Can we do something? Can we do something? Simon Keats. It, it, yes? You were, uh, were Mr. Knightley's best friend. You only just met with him two days ago. You say you didn't kill him. Are you certain about this? Um... Wait one minute. When did it say that you met him two days ago? I wonder. 26, really. But one thing, I'm, I'm pretty positive that's a very young age to become a judge. Also, she doesn't look 26. I'm gonna say that. Y yeah, yes, I am. I, I wouldn't have a fly. It's an interesting expression now, because I definitely would have flies. 
So those men will harm people. I see. That's enough for me. I shall offer my assistance in proving your innocence. Huh? Well, what's the point in helping the Lord me? It's not just for you. In this case, I have a personal stake in it as well. That's right! We're gonna get battle at those two from yesterday! We gotta get back at those two from yesterday! Yeah, I'm fired up, sir! But, I don't have any investigational rights at the moment. Since I won't be able to obtain information myself, your role is most vital. I'm sure we can rely on you to fill in any holes in the information we have. Help us help you. That's all I ask. Ah, oh, I just had an idea! Why did you just borrow a defense attorney's badge, sir? Come on! <clears throat> Come on! There's no way Mr. Edward could do that! This isn't the time to be joking around! But I wasn't joking! Helping the suspect is a defense attorney's job, pal! <laughs> Jeez! Don't worry about that! It doesn't matter what Mr. Edward's job is! <clears throat> I'm pretty sure you can't really do that sort of thing anyway. <clears throat> because that would be kind of a defraud, I think. All we gotta do is find the real murderer! All I gotta do is find the real murderer! So let's get moving! Okay, pal! Hmm, <clears throat> you're going all about without a truth again. I'm sure you understand. But if the investigation results prove that you are the murderer, no hard feelings, but I will show no mercy. Uh, but you don't need to be scared. I believe in your story, at least for now. All you need to do is believe in us, and wait patiently. There's nothing to fear. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be off. Oh. <clears throat> okay. Um, I was missing my team, so I just... I reached the point of... Um... Twenty... Right here? I'm going to see should stop. Oh well, okay. Basics. So, we're all fired up and ready to go. But we still can't get into the part of the prison where the murder occurred. Occurred? If you're calling the best game, the only thing you can do now is defend him in court, sir. But how are we supposed to do that? We can't. Huh? I defend was right. Huh? If it isn't Prosecutor Edward, then he's made a gun. What are you, what are you guys doing here? <laughs> doing here? Do you come to harass Mr. Edward again, pal? <laughs> what you're talking about, big guy? Uncle Ray says you have to do his job. Your job? Oh yeah, you're a defense attorney, right? Oh Ray. Okay. You're as beautiful as ever. Beautiful. I might not look like it, but your uncle is a hot shot defense attorney. I'm here to meet you with a new client today. What was his name again? Shy Monkeys or something? What? You mean Shy Monkeys? That's it, Kenny. Looks like you know the deal. Mr. Ayworth, here's a defense attorney. I thought as much. Guess we have no choice but to resort to that method. In the past. Whenever I had to mess in cases I was not placed in charge of, I was able to gain access by becoming a subordinate to whoever was in charge. Not my preferred option, but it's the only one I have now. Clever. <clears throat> Mr. Shields, if I may ask. <clears throat> by the way, they, I don't take on sidekicks. I refuse to take on male assistants who lack charm. Especially someone who was like a son to Von Karma. Mr. Shields, as I thought, you won't forget me so easily. I wonder why. I mean, Von Karma was not a good person. No. Mr. Shields, I understand that you cannot forgive me for what I've done. <clears throat> I'm also fully aware of your hatred towards those. <clears throat> <clears throat> I'm also fully aware of your hatred towards those involved from Karma. I don't know if you'll believe me, but... I am no longer the same as I was back then. 
back when I idolized Von Karma. Yeah, pal! Mr. Edwards is a change man! Sure. He may have been cruel, inhuman prosecutor in the past. But now, he was completely different, pal. When you put it that bluntly, it like, kind of hurts. That's right! Mr. Edwards is not a bad guy anymore. I wouldn't even call him a prosecutor. It's more like, a uh, a hero. Yeah. You he helped me out in the big case last month. A hero? That's some good to be talk talk that miss miss. That's a magnificent hero. Although he's no match for a great dick like me. Mrs. Shields. Don't actions of the PRC appear strange to you? I believe there may be something else hidden behind this case. I can't afford to quit at this juncture. Please let me help you with the investigation. I am begging you. <laughs> I never expected you to grow over like this. It sure looks like sure looks like you've changed, alright? And I'm kinda interested in the cause of all of this. You're interested in what changed me? If I had to say, it would probably be the courtroom itself. All the experiences I've had, and all the people I met inside the courtroom. And perhaps, reuniting with my old friends. <laughs> I never expected you of all people to change. Who could have just what I thought if you lay off the heart like that? Not just like that. I'm sure that that man will be surprised as well. Because I can't turn you away. It may be long over to do. But allow me to properly re to reduce myself. It would be the speed of kind to read this. Edgeworth Law Offices, Raymond Shields, head attorney? Uh, Edgeworth? Mr. Shields was an assistant to my deceased father. Gregory Edgeworth. Really? You followed the defense attorney? So that means that man Mr. Shields talked about is... Good eh? It's my cute little kid. Prosecutor Edward's soul man. Uh, what? But, what happened to him? What? I don't think he's with us anymore. It never changed. I am. It never changed the name of the father. It's my way of showing my appreciation for his help. What is that? Prosecutor Edward's. No way. Miles. Uncle Ray doesn't fully trust you just yet. He may have been a temporary. He may have been temporary, but the fact remains. You were once a disciple of one karma. You say that you've changed, but you need to prove it to me with your actions. <laughs> Even your old man. But I want to get this way. Yes, I understand. Gosh, let me, let me go to that person. <clears throat> You're a cod flipping out. Stick still on the brakes. You're not supposed to have done this blather in the first place. Blather in the first place, I know. <clears throat> alright, alright, I'm getting tired of all this stuffy talk. Fuck, well, let's give the rest a move on. For now, I'll make you my temporary assistant. How does that sound? I'm sorry to trouble you, but the outcome is kinda moving, yeah? <laughs> the prodigal son returning to work in his late father, father's law firm. What about me? What about me? Of course, you can have 2k. Alright! Thanks a lot, Mr. Shields. I, I mean, boss! Now then, let's get the right to work. Let's see... Firestorm. What do you think we should do, Miles? That's right. I helped someone finish business yesterday. Mm, so it wasn't the victim. Rather, it was the first person to discover the pod on the screen. Why don't we find them and listen to what they have to say? Yeah, that's it. Uncle Ray thinks so too. Upbeat as always. If a bit sarcastic. Okay, but that decided, let's hurry up and grill him. As soon as that's a guy, we don't know. Um, sir, what, what am I supposed to do? De detectives can't help defense attorneys. Hmm, I can't just leave them be. Detective? La, la, mm, sorry. I want to do this, probably. Yep. Yep. 
para 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 Special assignment. I want you to assess Mr. the Best, Mr. the Best, in his investigation and follow his orders. From them, if you discover anything useful, I want you to share it with us. Detective, this is a job that only you can do. Can we count on you? Yes, sir. Leave it to me. I'm really good at leaking for investigation reports to defense attorneys. Normally, that would be a problem for me, but. It may come in handy this time. So unabashed about it as well. <clears throat> Alright, let's get moving. Shall we? Time to go to jail. That is not a sentence I think you should have been saying. Rather, that you ever thought you would be saying. Now then, where is the person where is the person who first first discovers the body? For now, all we can do is ask around. Hold on right there. That's... a person. I've seen, but who I don't know. Who is this woman? Um, excuse me, but... Oh, you are simply irresistible. Irresistible. Huh? Do you mean me? Very nice, very nice indeed. What an elegant moustache. It's a pleasure to meet you, mademoiselle. Defense attorney special at your service. It's a French. I take him French, I'm not good at French accents. How about we exchange greetings with a hug? Oh. <laughs> but of course. <laughs> Oops. Uncle Grace. Lips. A proper greeting should begin with a hug and a kiss. It's almost like it was stolen from him. Yes, a remarkable feat of quickness that would put a great thief to shame. I feel that close contact is very important. This goes for my family here, in my home as well. Qu quite a splendid way of thinking that. <laughs> I am the warden, Patricia Rowland. Pat Roll. I wonder about that. Also, I just noticed you. You appear to be a um, wearing a fox around your neck. Snow fox, maybe? But please, just call me Patty. The warden, so she she's in charge of the prison and detention center. That puts you right, right, on my little suspects. Right on my little suspect because you are that. You are the only person who could feasibly bring a prisoner from the detention center into this prison like that. Nice to meet you. I am Miles Edgeworth. I'm a prosecutor. I mean, I'm Mr. Shield's assistant. Pardon me for asking, but were you here at the prison yesterday? But of course, yesterday was some day that I would have missed. I wouldn't have missed for the world. Wouldn't have missed for the world? Did you have some kind of important meeting? Of oh, heavens, no! I despise meetings. It was the animal show, of course. Oh, that's a track I haven't heard in a while. A wonderful spectacle featuring animals dancing and flying through the air. I always see it along with everyone else in our home. We're one big happy family. 
We built a special stage in the courtyard just for this performance. A performance sort of Christmas enjoyment. Yesterday, Albert mentioned some kind of recreation. I suppose the animal show is what he was referring to. When did this show take place? It started at 8 a.m. and ended around 10 a.m. That's, that's exactly when the body was discovered. So whoever saw the show would probably have an alibi. Possibly. Now, if you will excuse me, I must be going. I have business to attend to. Please, take, please, take your time and have a look around at home. At home! That's a bit sweet. Bit too much sweet, that fella. So where should we start, Miss Redworth? Oh, I wanted to talk to her more. There, were, there was a prisoner who had the scream from the person who first discovered the body. Let's start by talking with him. But I'll have to wait for next time. We should meet again, in another game perhaps. Until then, humans, fairies, and yokai. <laughs>